Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm excited to introduce you to a new Final Cut Pro X effect. This one's called Frames Plus. So first things first, when you download the effect from the site after purchasing it, you're gonna navigate to your Users folder and then to your Movies folder. Inside your Movies folder, there's a Motion Templates folder and you're gonna find your Effects folder. Open that up and drag and drop the 40 TV folder into the Effects folder. If you already have a 40 TV folder, then just go ahead and drag Frames Plus into 40 TV. Now that we've got the plugin installed, I'm gonna minimize this window. If you already had Final Cut Pro X open, go ahead and close it out and reopen it. Right now I have Final Cut Pro X open. I have three clips in my timeline. Two are still images and one is a video. So let's talk about these uh, images as well as video. The way this plugin works is it applies the effect to the frame of your video based on 100% scaling. Let me explain what that means. So let's open up our effects browser. You can do so by clicking on this button here. If it was already open, just go on down to 40 TV and find Frames Plus. So as you see on this particular flower image that I shot while I was hiking, you can see that the Frames Plus is actually applied um, it's not correctly applied. You may not realize that, but let me scroll over here and look at this shot that I took while I was at um, uh, the LA County Fair. If I scroll over Frames Plus, we'll see this is correctly applied to the image. The difference between these two images is the secondary image is actually scaled up because it's using a different conform. If we go over here and go to the inspector and we scroll down, you'll see that I have the spatial conform type to fill. And what that does is it scales your image up, um, even though it's not touching the transform here, it's scaling that image up to fill the full frame. So the workaround here is to right click on the clip and go to new compound clip. It's gonna ask us to name this clip, I'll call it flowers. After naming that new compound clip, if we go back over here to frames plus, you'll see that it applies it correctly to our um, image. Obviously this works for both uh, video as well as uh, still images. If we come over to this clip here, you'll see it's a clip of me trying to get my dog to dance uh, while dangling treats um, in his face. If we try to apply Frames Plus, I'm sorry, let me move the playhead. If we try to apply Frames Plus to this uh, video clip, you'll notice that uh, it's off. And the reason that it's off is because I've actually scaled the image up to 108%. If I go ahead and right click on this and call, uh, create a new compound clip, I'll call it Bandit Dances 01, click on OK. Now if I come over here, you'll notice that it applies it correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this onto the Bandit Dancing clip. After doing so, let's go over some of the options for Frames Plus. Inside Frames Plus, you'll see that you can adjust the border width of all of the frames. This is a global setting so it's affecting all the frames at the same time. The drop shadow setting is also a global setting. There's a toggle to turn it on and off. You can increase the distance of the drop shadow. You can increase or decrease the blur. And you can change the angle. Because this drop shadow angle is um, uh, set on a slider, the reason for that is that it can control all of them at the same time. To find the exact degree, all you have to do is scrub through this slider from 0 to 100. It covers the full 360 degrees of the potential range of that drop shadow angle. Next, you'll notice that each individual frame has its own controls. So we can turn on and off a frame by clicking on these buttons. So I'll turn frame 1 off for now and we'll scroll down to frame 2. You'll notice that I can change its X position. I can change its Y position. I can also change its rotation in Z-Space. The frame two can be offset, so the video, in, or, or the frame two X offset is the video or the, the, the still image in the frame. So you can offset this both by X and Y. If I end up offsetting it so that the clip or footage is outside of the frame and starts to show black, I can fix this by scaling it up. I can also scale it up to induce some type of effect. So maybe I'm trying to show off maybe his paw here. And on frame number three, let's say I scale this one up. Maybe I'm showing his shoulder here. And I can do the same thing on frames five and frame six. 
and give it this weird uh, funky effect. Alternatively, I can turn off every other frame or I can keep them all on. Um, this is to your heart's desire, right? As far as customizability. Next, we can turn on and off uh, a solid background. The background does not have to use this, uh, the clip or footage. So if we turn off or toggle on a solid background, I can also change that solid background's color to meet my project. So let's say I want it to be blue. The next two settings are if your solid background is set to off. So I'm gonna turn that off and we'll notice that I can adjust the brightness of the background. So maybe I want it really dim or maybe I want it really bright, obviously to taste. Next, I can adjust the blur that's happening in that background. So I can really blur out so the focus is definitely on the frames. Obviously, extremely customizable. I'll come back to the flowers. I'll apply frames plus. I'll scroll down to the bottom of frames plus. I'll turn on the background, solid background. Maybe we'll set it to uh, red. Maybe this, this is part of a Valentine's video. And then of course, uh, on the individual frames, I can zoom in on these flowers. Now zooming in here, is, uh, we're not gonna see too much uh, degradation of image quality because this still image is larger than the 720p um, size of our video. So we can definitely scroll up here and see some fantastic results. Whoops, let's change the offset of Y, show that bottom of that flower, et cetera, et cetera. I hope you guys like this plugin um, and you can find many uses uh, to use inside your footage and your projects. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this content, please uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Till next time, I'm out.